guys, it's M here. Welcome to my channel. We are here today for a really special reason. We get to go shopping for some Christmas angels in the community. This year, the Muna fam adopted two angels. We got a five-year-old little girl and a 16-year-old boy, and they've got a pretty cool list that we've got to go buy for them. Um, and we have raised $1,000 to be able to spend on these kids and hopefully get every single thing that they were hoping for off their list. If you don't know what a Christmas angel is, these are kids in the community whose parents may not be fin financially able to get them any Christmas presents at all. So we are here to take care of them and make sure that they have a good Christmas and they get some of the things that they're hoping for off of their list. So we're going to go on into Target and we can see what $1,000 can do. Thank you so much for your generosity in this. I am so thankful to be in the position where I can give back to my community like this and I'm just thankful that I have you guys to join me for such a, a good cause that I really care about and I'm passionate about. I don't think that any kid should be left behind for Christmas. So let's go buy some toys. Might be able to get him like a few smaller ones. Would that be cool? Or we can get like a bigger fancy one. <laughs> I don't know. There's too many options. This one. What is this? Imperial TIE Fighter. Sounds good. I think that looks pretty cool for a 16 year old boy. Elsa. That, I used to make Spider-Man. <laughs> I had a Spider-Man action figure and he would date all my Barbies. <laughs>
<laughs> poop? <laughs> poop got poop. They got like unicorn poop and they got rainbow poop and they got space poop. Got all the poops. <laughs> Nope. So we're back home now and we spent like I think 40 something cents under a thousand. Um, so what happened was we got all this stuff. At Target, we spent $997.73. That is as close as I could get it to 1000 However, when we got home and we um, were checking the girl's bike, the tire wouldn't hold air, so we had to go and return it and get a different bike from Walmart. But it ended up working out because this bike was actually cheaper. It was on sale for... $59.99 and we were able to get a few extra uh, little things as well. So we actually, at the end of the day, we ended up spending $999.51, which is like crazy. So I got as close as possible to I could to the thousand mark and uh, hopefully, hopefully I chose some good things and put you guys' uh, contributions to good use. I really appreciate you guys. Um, trusting me with that and allowing me to do this and do some good in my community. I'm so freaking excited. I wish I could, you know, meet the kids and, and see their faces, but I am just so, like, I know this is going to make some kids very happy on Christmas Day. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a haul and show you guys what we ended up picking out because I know you guys are super interested. I had a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I was a kid and I got to have all these fun toys. So it was kind of exciting to get a thousand dollars worth and throw it in my basket so yeah I'll just go ahead and show you guys what we ended up getting but as you guys know we had two angels originally and our first goal was five hundred dollars and we kind of smashed that out of the park um and then we then we reached six hundred dollars and then I don't even know what happened y'all came in and smashed a thousand dollars so um we had more than enough to take care of those kids so the 16 year old wanted a bike and a helmet so we got this red bike it's a schwinn sweet and it was a uh, two hundred dollars i think and we got a helmet to go with it just a normal black helmet um and then he also requested a star wars lego set uh i honestly i don't know what the cool Lego sets are, but this one looked pretty cool to me. It is a, it is a TIE fighter. Um, I asked my brother for his input because he's kind of a Star Wars nerd and he said that that was good. So we got a TIE fighter. Hopefully he'll have some fun putting that together. Hope you don't lose any pieces, dude. Um, and then we got a black backpack for him. That was a specific request. He wanted it to be black. It looks kind of green on camera. He wanted it to be black, so we got that. Um, and then this is kind of a surprise. He did not ask for this, but I saw it. And what 16-year-old doesn't want a drone? Drones are all the rage right now. So we got him a stunt drone from Sharper Image. It was from Target, but it says Sharper Image on it. <laughs> and so that's going to be a surprise gift that we're going to put in with his pile. Hopefully he'll be excited to get that. And then he also requested a alarm clock. So we got this one. It projects the time on the wall and ceiling which is pretty schnazzy. It's super futuristic. So um, we got him that. Um, and then we looked at the cologne and ended up picking Sean Mendez signature so he can smell good. And then we picked out a watch for him. It is not 111 right now, I promise. It is 1110. <laughs> we picked out this watch for him, just a simple black watch. Um, hopefully he enjoys that. So those are the things that we got specifically for him, the kid that we um, 
picked up originally. So he is taking care of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me to take care of this kid. I'm so freaking proud that we got to get every single thing off of his list. I'm so freaking proud. Bicycle, helmet, backpack, Star Wars Lego set, alarm clock, cologne, wristwatch. Check, 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 check. And we even got a bonus. Yes. Thank you guys so much. He's going to be so happy. Okay, so our five-year-old little girl, she also wanted a bike and helmet. So originally, and you'll see in our video at Target, we got this purple bike. It was really cute. Um, the tire wasn't all the way full, so we brought it home to see if we could fill it up at home, and it just wouldn't hold air. So we ended up having to return that and take it back, but that's totally okay because we ended up getting a few more extra little baby items at Walmart. Um, so, you know, it's a win-win. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but this bike is super cute. It's bright pink it's it's obnoxiously pink I really hope the girl likes pink I also really hope she likes unicorns cuz uh yeah we found this adorable freaking helmet it's a shame they don't come in adult sizes because dude dude look at this look at this oh my gosh I need this in my life how adorable is that your local target guys if you have a kid who likes unicorns get this for them they need it not only is their brain going to be protected but like also their brain is going to get smarter because they're wearing that <laughs> and oh and it has like mint around the wheels i think it's super fly it's a huffy sea star oh man she's going to be styling and profiling in that bike um she also specifically requested a hat and mittens so we got this i mean a hat and mittens and a coat so so we got this coat. I also figured, I think she likes the color green because she requested a green backpack. So I think she likes the color green. So hopefully she'll like this. This is greenish. It's like, it's a teal. It's a nice teal. It's a bluish green. And it's got fur on the inside. It's a really nice coat. Um, so we got that for her. I hope, I hope, I hope it fits her. Hopefully. I really hope so. Um, we got this cute little hat. It's so soft and so warm and so cute. Um, and then this. This is literally my favorite find of the whole night. It is so cute. So it's a it's a hat and scarf and mittens combo. I mean, we're just knocking it all out in one. And I think it goes super cute with the jacket. Am I right? It, it matches. It matches. So it's it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn hat. Then we got her this backpack. She asked for a green backpack, but they didn't have just like a green one. So um, they did have a unicorn one, but then Oreo told me not to push my unicorn agenda too hard. Only a little bit, only a little bit with, you know, the, with, the, with the helmet and the, and the scarf. That's, that's pushing my, my unicorn agenda enough, but I, I can't, I can't go any further. You know, there's a line to this stuff. So but it's just too easy. You go to the store and everything comes in unicorn. We're living in a unicorn world, guys. I swear it. But I thought this backpack was super cute and it has that beautiful greenish blue color. Hopefully she likes that. I don't know. Hopefully the girl likes pink. I don't know. Am I overthinking this? Probably. And then she requested board games and Disney puzzles. So we ended up finding Candyland, of course. This is a classic. If you have never played Candyland, what are you doing? You need to. And then we got this game I saw called Soggy Doggy. I think the object is of, of the game is that you get this dog wet. <laughs> and then at some point, it's going to shake and get you wet. The showering, shaking, wet doggy game. I don't know. It looked cute. I would have wanted this when I was a kid. Heck, I want this now. Who am I even kidding? Then we also got her this is called, it's called Let's Go Fishing. This game is seriously so fun. You take little fishing poles and the fish rotate around and they open their mouths. And when they open their mouths, you got to stick the fishing pole in there and catch them before they close their mouth back only at Target. It's so cute. I highly recommend this game. Um, so yeah, we got her those three games. 
because it said she likes board games, so I think those will be fun for a little girl. It also said she wants some Disney puzzles, so I got super lucky and ran into this, and I'm so excited about this. I think she's going to love it. I mean, I would love it. Hopefully she loves it. And it's a set of 20 puzzles. So if you guys have a lot of little kids in your family and you're just like, oh my gosh, how can I get them all a little something? This is perfect. It has 20 puzzles. They're all each these little tins of um, small, very small little puzzles. Some of them are 50 pieces. Some of them are 24. Um, but yeah, like little, little Disney puzzles. And it's a whole pack of them with all kinds of little Disney themes, boys and girls and everything in between. And then we got her this princess storybook collection. This book is so beautiful and it just has a bunch of, um, princess stories. So hopefully she will have a lot of fun reading out of this. Aladdin, The Search for Sultan Stone. Um, I, it's, it's hard for me because I've never had kids and I've actually never really been around kids in my family that much. So I don't know what five-year-olds like or what a five-year-old does. So it's kind of hard for me to know what's going to be fun for them, but I'm just kind of guessing and assuming and hopefully, hopefully it's fun. Um, and then we found this other Disney puzzle that we can give to her. It's Minnie and Daisy having a little, having a little gossip over, over sandwiches. Spilling that tea, Minnie. I see you spilling that tea. Girl, give me the tea. Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? Maybe. Okay. I am. So that's all the things that we got specifically for this girl that she asked for. It's quite a lot, actually. She kind of, she got the hookup. Um, and on top of that, you guys showed up and showed out and helped me raise so much money that we actually completely covered these kids and we have extra room to do some more good and maybe help cover some kids who didn't get as much or, you know, um, some kids who didn't didn't get picked to get taken care of. So, let me just show you what else I got. And I have no idea who these toys are going to go to. But basically, we just walked around. We kind of just picked some cool stuff. And um, we're going to donate this to this organization. It's a local cops, a local police force. And they distribute toys. And they do a toy drive every year to um, members in in around the community who need a little bit of extra help. So I'm just going to donate these toys and they said that they will distribute them accordingly to whatever kids um, need a little bit more towards theirs. So of course I picked me up some, uh, some Barbies. Well, they're not Barbies. They're Disney princesses. We got Elsa. We've got Anna. Heck yeah. And we've got Moana. Woo. And it comes with the little piggy. I forgot his name. Dang it. We got, we got Kylo Ren in the flesh and, and Thor. <laughs> and seriously, seriously, honestly, I used to play with Barbies and I wanted manly men like this for my Barbies to date. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe, maybe this could go to the same little girl and Thor can have some fun with Elsa and Anna. I mean, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> Then, like I said, when we went back to Walmart and got a different bike, because Target, Target has a really nice selection for toys, but um, it has a really nice selection for toys, but it's lacking a bit on the bicycle department. There wasn't a whole lot of bikes to choose from, which um, kind of sucks, but, and then they didn't have any others when we took back the one that didn't work, but we went, were able to go to Walmart and return it and get a cheaper bike, so that way we got to got, get a few more toys, and we ended up getting some baby toys, and just in case there's some babies who didn't get um, as much or something like that. So we ended up getting this little cell phone, because babies love taking phones and pushing buttons. Beautiful. We're out of time. Thank God. We got this little uh, rolly, easy to roll along roller lion. And then this cute little thing right here. It's a little teddy bear and they can learn their body parts. Hand, foot, what does this say? Foot, 
ear and they can learn the body parts and stuff which is pretty adorable um we of course got a lightsaber because what kid doesn't dream of having a lightsaber and becoming their very own Jedi and then I wanted to get this because it's just such a classic toy a bucket of army men heck yeah they can make a make a war scene in their living room and uh, their parents can step on these these buggers and injure themselves <laughs> I have injured myself on many of my brother's toy army men when I was younger these were a super cool find these are little scooters but they light up and they were so cool and they were so affordable I think they were like $30, $29.99. I just thought they were so cool, and I know that, you know, kids love zooming around on scooters. I think kids should get outside more, but I digress. <laughs> but I spent my childhood zooming around in a Barbie car and on my bike and stuff. So we got these scooters. I don't know what kids are going to go to, but I'm sure they will find some great and deserving kids who will have so much fun with these scooters. Um, but they light up. They have, it says, seven different light settings and they're for smaller kids but dude these are so cool if i had a kid they would totally be getting this for christmas because it is so cool it's a little light up scooter who wouldn't want that what little kid doesn't want to zoom around in style some other random things that i just grabbed and added in was this glitter messenger bag um of course it has a unicorn on it duh um but yeah they can color it in and have their very own bag that they have customized and colored in their self. I think that's super cool for a creative kid like I was. I would have loved that. Uh, then we found this fur real pooping kitty. Oh yes, we're teaching kids responsibility, how to take care of a pet. Heck yeah, it has little, are those turds or food pellets? I don't know. Turds? Feed. Okay, those are definitely food, not turds. I wonder what the turds look like. I swear they said it pooped. Yeah, Cammy, my poopin' kitty. Wow, that's literally the name of this cat. It's a poopin' cat. That's his identity. Dude, your identity is that you poop. Good job. Yes, and it also comes with the leash because everyone walks their cats, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie right now. I kind of want this. I want to go get one of these. Honestly, Oreo, can I have this for Christmas? <laughs> I love blind boxes so much, so much. And this is a giant blind box, basically. So it's, it's, I think it's supposed to be modeled after those Hatchimal things, but it's, it's like the cheap Hatchimal. Um, but you open it and it's, it's a, it's what surprise is under my sequin heart and it's it's a little una dog or unicorn or una kitty or una cat or una hamster there's all these different things and i think it's just a stuffed animal with those sequin things that you can play with and flip up and down and all of that there's 12 to collect dude oreo i want th he's shaking his head no i want this this would be a perfect Christmas present for me. I'm sure it's going to make some little girl or boy out there really, really happy. It's a giant blind box. Urgh. And last but certainly not least, we picked up this NHL air hockey table. I used to have a big air hockey table when I was younger, and I think it just got old and broke on us. And my mom threw it out, and I'm so sad. It was so cool. But this is a mini one, so it doesn't take up so much room in your house you can you can uh, play play air hockey with your with your little buds I love you I love Aww. you you make the world so bright morning noon and night Oh I love you too little bear you're so nice <laughs> We did we went out and we did some serious work and we were able to get a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, we went ham in the store. It was so fun. I just want to thank you guys so much for being a part of this with me. Um, around the holidays, it's just a really special time. There's a lot of opportunities to go out and give and do some good in our communities. And I'm just really thankful that you guys can come together with me and band together as a Munifam and we can accomplish this. I mean, this is a huge accomplishment. This is the biggest thing that I've ever done in my streaming career. And I have you guys to thank. So thank you so much for joining me in this. This is all because of you and your kindness. Just look at this. Look at this and imagine 
what those kids' faces are going to look like because of your kindness and your generosity. And I just thank you so incredibly much. Um, Because not only did we take care of two kids, we got a whole bunch of extra stuff to make some other kids happy as well. So thank you guys so much. I am forever grateful to do what I do and be able to get together a community like this and do something so incredible and give back to those who maybe are less fortunate. I am just in awe that that is what I get to do each and every day. You guys inspire me so much into being a better person and always working hard and doing bigger and better things. And I, this will not be the last time that I go out and um, we do some good together in the community. And I'm so excited that I found such a lovely group of like-minded people who I can truly call my Muna family. Thank you so much to every single person who contributed towards this cause. And thank you to those, even if you weren't able to contribute, for spending time in my streams and getting the word out there and helping them reach this incredible achievement. I'm so grateful and I'm so excited that we were able to do something so big and so incredible this holiday season. I can't wait to see what next year has in store. This is not it from the Muna family. We are going to keep going, keep doing amazing things. I love you guys so much. Um, stay safe, stay warm. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun coming along with me and drop in a thousand dollars on toys. Oh my god my dream come true. <laughs> and not only that, we get to give it to others, which feels even better. Make sure you like and subscribe. Oh boy, I haven't done this YouTube stuff in a long time. And maybe, just maybe, I will be putting out more YouTube content in the future. Merry Christmas, everyone. And as always, embrace your inner unicorn because we all know that I do and it's a bit scary sometimes. <laughs> Bye!